Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there, Locker Gnome. This is Matt Ryan, a.k.a. The Frugal Geek, and I wanted to show you guys today how to enable Timeline on your Facebook page before Timeline is available to the general public. All right, so it's a fairly complicated process, so I'll try to take you through it as quickly as I can. First, you're going to want to go to the top of your page. And uh, up here, you'll see the search bar. All you got to enter in there is developer. Simple word, but what it will do is it will launch the developer page uh, and allow you to create a new app, which is what you need to do in order to trick Facebook into giving you access to Timeline before Timeline is ready for the general public. So here's what we're going to do. Up in the search column, we're going to type in developer. You'll see developer app. Uh, you'll see all the little books with the F. Go ahead and click that. You allow it, uh, which will not tell everyone in the world that you're using it, uh, but it will enable it on your uh, profile. Here's the apps page. From here, there's a button on the upper right hand corner that says create new app. This is the only button you need to be concerned with at this point. It will allow you to create the app that you need to create. Now they may ask you to verify your account through either a phone number and they'll send you a text message or through a credit card. If you do a credit card, they'll charge you a dollar and one cent. It sucks, I know. All right, well, you hit Create New App, and you're going to want to give it a display name and a namespace. Namespace has to be lowercase, all one word, and at least seven characters. It's got to be unique. So whatever you want to put in there, go ahead and put it in there. I put Matt Ryan Timeline Test. That's the one I went with. You'll need to agree to the platform privacy policy as well. It's very important, and it will allow you to uh, use uh, the, the app space uh, in the future. So definitely go ahead and agree to that and then you hit continue this will take you to the app page and here all you need to do is make sure that everything uh, is accurate uh, the display name doesn't matter what it is the app space really doesn't matter what it is as long as it's unique hit save at the bottom of the page over here you can actually go to open graph it's in the left hand column of the sidebar you know, you'll see it it's right under settings okay you can go ahead and hit that and it will ask you people can what a what I say watch a movie, you can say read a book. It has to be something people can do and something they can do it too. I know that sounds, uh, sounds a little strange, but that's what they want. All right, so right here you see all these confusing things about uh, the, the action type and, and this, that, and the other. Don't worry about that. Hit save at the bottom of the page. It's at the very bottom. Doesn't matter what's in there. Don't worry about it. You're creating an app that does nothing. Essentially, you're, you're not wasting anything. Now, if you go to your profile at this point, you'll see a Get It Now button. You click that and you're done. Timeline is officially on your account and uh, you can look at it. Other developers can look at it, but the general public can't see it yet because it's not available to them and Facebook doesn't want them to get jealous of you and your awesomeness. So, this is it. This is how you do it.